All right, we're back with another one of these. Arc Raiders machine learning is deeper than you think. And honestly, this has to be cleared up before release so people can actually understand what's really going on under the hood. In one of my last videos, I said that it's learning you. And the comments went pretty crazy. Some people said I nailed it, others said I had it all wrong, and a few people didn't really understand how Unreal's behavior system even works. This comment, right here is a perfect example. And I quote, I think you're confused about how machine learning is being implemented in Arc Raiders. The AI aren't learning from you in the middle of the match or learning about your from match to match. No, they use machine learning to train the each of the unique AI to animate and act a certain way. The bison isn't walking based on pre-programmed animations. It has an AI that is telling its legs how to work real time and it has an internal objective, AKA looking for and killing players. That is solved in a unique way, different than say the Bastion. They had to train each of their ARC robots individually over thousands of iterations to get the AI to operate each ARC's unique movement models, patrol behaviors and aggression modes. Okay, there are more comments similar to this. And in this one, he's right about machine learning being used to train ARC. Thousands of iterations teaching the movement, patrols, and aggression modes. But what he's missing out in here is the other half of the equation, Unreal Engine's behavior tree system. And without that piece, you can't explain why this feels so different from normal AI. So I want to clear it up for you, okay? Here's what's actually happening. And let me just be clear. I can understand why some of the things I said sparked so much controversy in my video when I was talking about they're learning you, they're just sophisticated. It just was hype okay and i wanted to kind of bask in the ambience of this feeling but for this one i want to clear it up for you so you can understand exactly what's happening all right and here's what's actually going on during development embark studios used machine learning reinforced learning imitation learning to train the bots through massive numbers of simulations okay we know that that training gave them a toolbox of behaviors how to handle cover how to reposition how to pressure you that's why our creators bots feel smarter than scripted NPCs is because they are smarter. They were trained, not hard coded in the live game. It's not machine learning running wild real time, actually like some Skynet, like Arnold said back in the day, it's Unreal Engine's behavior trees orchestrating those trained behaviors in real time. Let me explain. Behavior trees monitor the state of the fight and decide which action to pull from that machine learning trained playbook. Here are a few statements I made in my previous video. Stay in cover too long, triggers flush out tactics. Keep taking the high ground, it switches to vertical deploy counters. Try solo stealth, patrols double up and adjust routes. Well, let me clarify, that doesn't mean the bot is literally updating its model on you in real time, but the combination of machine learn training plus behavior trees creates the illusion of learning. And that illusion is powerful enough to keep you guessing almost every fight. Let me give you some more context and clarification here. Just so you know where I'm coming from with all this. I'm a game developer myself working on my own project, an indie project called Identity Rebels. Some of you may know that most of you, I'm sure don't. I've been game developing for almost four years. I knew nothing from the beginning. And this right here gives me some insight that most gamers don't even think about respectfully. And I've been working on my AI using Unreal Engine's behavior tree system too. For example, this quadruped mech robot is an NPC in my game. And if you just sit him here on the map, you'll notice he won't move, right? But if you put something called a nav mesh, a navigation mesh on the battlefield, you can position it wherever you want. You can have it only in one area. This quadruped mech, if it has an animation blend space, if it's set up for movement pretty much, then wherever this nav mesh is, that's where the quadruped mech will patrol randomly. Or you can set them up to walk a certain way specifically. But this quadruped mech robot you're seeing here runs on pretty basic behavior tree logic. It can patrol when it sees me, it chases and engages, but it's nothing close to what Arc Raiders is doing with machine learning. Their bots are trained with far more complexity and that's why they feel alive in ways most scripted enemies never do. Now, could I make something like that in my own game? Sure, if I wanted to go deeper down that rabbit hole, but right now I use behavior trees at a simpler scale. 
which is why I can recognize just how advanced our creator's approach really is. So let me give you a simple way to picture this, okay? Think of a behavior tree like a flow chart, but alive. At the very top, the system might say, is the player visible? If the answer is yes, then it flows down one branch. Maybe it chooses to attack, but even there, it doesn't stop. It asks again, attack from range or close the gap, which one? Now let's say it chooses to close the gap. That opens another decision. Do I rush straight in or do I flank? And if it goes with flanking, that can break down even further. Flank left if there's cover, flank right if the player is distracted. You see how it keeps stacking. Each level adds another layer of decision making. So the further you go down the tree, the more advanced and nuanced the behavior becomes. And that's what makes the system so versatile. You're not simply programming a robot to attack. You're basically giving it a decision making process that adapts step by step, depending on the situation. And this is why I wanted to make this follow up video, because with launch right around the corner, people need to understand the difference. Arc Raiders isn't simply marketing buzzwords. This is real machine learning applied to gameplay and Embark could still push it further before release. They could fine tune how behavior trees weigh actions based on beta data, integrity, utility based AI for smarter counter choices or even retrain bots on new player strategies post launch. I'm sure they've already done that post the tech test too. I don't think they're going to really change much after the beta in October, but who knows? The foundation is there and it's only going to get sharper. So when I said the bots are learning you and in this video, it's adapting. It's what I meant. They were trained with machine learning during development and Unreal's behavior trees lets those behaviors play out in ways that feel adaptive in real time. So I wanted to apologize for the confusion, but also clear it up in this video. That's why Arc Raiders feels different. That's why the bots keep you on edge. And that's why this is one of the most exciting uses of AI I've seen in a shooter. Man, it's crazy. What do you think, though? Have you felt the bots adapt to your play style? Or do you think it's just good coding like I asked you before, dressed up as machine learning? Drop your thoughts below. I'll be checking and responding to as many as I can. But anyways, that'll do it for this one, fam. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. And if this was intriguing to you in any way and like the video, don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I'll see you in the next one. Be right out.